this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, just here to show you another one of my mini albums. Uh, this time it's a kind of handbag album um, done in the style of a handbag or a purse. Um, so I thought I'd kind of try out a different different style. So this is obviously the outside of the album. So on the front it's got decorative papers um, and then it's got an opening flap. Um, which has got a kind of popper there. So I'll just do it back up to show you the outside. And then it's got handles here um, just from kind of ribbon. And then the back is, is plain with just some lace edging just to kind of match the front nicely. Um, so back to the front, we've got obviously lace trim down the bottom and on the bottom of the kind of opening flap. And that's finished off with this diamante trim as well and then it's got this really nice big kind of diamante um, kind of centre like the clasp of the bag so opening up the bag it opens like that I'm hoping that you're going to be able to kind of see it all properly really um, so if I start kind of over here so the inside of the front cover um, we've got this lovely kind of vintage looking postcard um, photo mat or journaling spot really. I mean I kind of think maybe journaling nice to kind of introduce the album and what is going to be in there. And then we've got some nice kind of ribbon which I love doing this kind of folded over ribbon um, lately. I've been using that quite a bit because I think it looks really pretty. I've got a big die cut flower there um, that I thought just coordinates really nicely with all the papers and things. So that's just um, been distressed and inked up with the distress inks and a couple of flowers there. And this flower I've left kind of loose-ish so you can just kind of stick a tag in there. So there's a tag there. Also um, the top of this postcard also is um, left loose so you could stick in, I don't know, tickets or memorabilia from your event. So pop that in there like that. So then moving on to kind of the main bulk of the album, it's obviously been um, done with a ring binder um, finish, so that's on there. So the first page um, we've got just a kind of photo mount or journaling spot there, a little kind of um, journaling label down the bottom, got some lace trim, paper flower and this lovely um, resin kind of cameo lady that's kind of all antique um, in colours. And then an organza bow down there. And this has been, again, done like a pocket. So you've got a tag or journaling spot that just slots in neatly down the side there. So that's that. So turning the page over. On this page, again, got some lace trim, which I just love using the lace. I think it just looks really pretty. Little tiny um, gold embossed journaling kind of label there. Maybe you could put the date or something like that on there. And then um, got some more paper flowers down the bottom. These cute bows which I just think are really sweet aren't they? And then another little kind of label or um, journaling spot down the bottom. One of these, I think they're kind of like resin um, butterflies down there. And a kind of gem um, done in the style of a flower. And again, this has kind of um, been done like a pocket, so we've got a little card that slots in down the side there, so that just goes in neatly down the side. And then on this page, we've got, um, it's done like a pocket page, so just coordinating paper with here with this um, photo mat over this side. And again, some more of this lovely satin ribbon that I've just kind of folded over and done like that. Another organza bow, little crown here, obviously the word love. Um, paper flower and then some more of the faux diamante in there and then just kind of an inked up flower there that was just a deconstructed kind of mulberry rose really um, and then again obviously a pull out tag that just slots neatly into the page so you could obviously put a photo or something in here if you wanted or just write some more journaling um, but you've got there kind of more room for photos and things so turning the page, we've got another journaling spot or photo mat 
Um, we've got more of the lace trim. Obviously, kind of left that bit to be lifted so that if your photo wanted to kind of slot under, it could just slot under there. And then again, it's been done like a pocket, so we've got another pull out tag that just slots neatly into the side. And then this lovely uh, gold embossed Eiffel Tower in this oval frame, which I think just looks really good, and I've just dressed it up really old and vintage looking. And then um, another paper flower. I've kind of tried to ink all of the paper flowers as well to tie them in and make them quite aged and antique looking. And another one of those resin butterflies. Then on this page, I've got another one of the gold embossed. Um, I mean, I kind of think they're just brilliant for dates and things like that, or just maybe a title or something, or who's in the photo. Um, just surrounded by a little flower there and that another little bow. Um, and then we've got a kind of folding flap little kind of album on that page. Um, so again, plenty of room there for photos, kind of could stick one on the front and obviously two in there. And then obviously got this lovely butterfly on there, another flower, um, some more coordinating satin ribbon that's just your kind of tag there to open that. And then a journaling spot again that's been embossed in gold and then um, another paper flower down the bottom. And then on this page we've got again another kind of journaling um, spot or photo mat. Again actually you could just tuck some more photos in down the side there. Um, or you know tickets or other memorabilia. Um, more of this lovely satin ribbon that again done those nice kind of folds. And then I've got a lovely faux diamante kind of buckle there. And this time a polka dot spotty um, organza bow that I just thought looked really pretty on that page. And then another gold embossed journaling spot down the bottom. And then I think this was a Prima flower, um, which I've kind of dyed these flowers with, uh, I think the Dilution sprays I did those with. And then obviously put a nice gem in the middle. And then this page again, you've got um, a photo mat with some lace down this side. And then another paper flower and a bow, lovely butterfly the gold embossed label and again another pull out tag there that just slots neatly into the side so that's that I might actually just put that in kind of more like, like that there we go and then it just tucks in neatly and then on this page um, got another kind of couple of photo mats and this one again it's been done like a pocket so you can just slot in another another tag down the side there and I've got a lovely gold shiny label there um, you'd have to obviously use permanent markers to write on that one because it is shiny um, but I mean I would tend to use permanent markers anyway for journaling so that it kind of stays forever and then I've got this uh, stamp of a cameo down there that I've just edged with pearls so it looks um, you know stands out and looks really pretty some more of this satin ribbon down the bottom and um, a twine bow, which I just thought set that off really nicely. And then another, obviously, journaling spot that's been emboss embossed with gold. And another one of the butterflies and some more of the diamante down the bottom. And then on this page, um, again, coordinating papers with the other one. Um, and then you've got kind of a bit of an organza flower at the back there. Overlaid with a paper flower. And then in the centre of this one I've got um, a lovely satin rose which I've then just kind of inlaid a little pearl in the middle which just finishes it off really nicely I think. And then the edge, um, again got some lace down the edge, just love the lace really. And then an organza bow and again obviously got another pull out tag that just slots neatly into the side just like that. And then turning over this is now the last page obviously of the album so again it's been finished off with some more lace trim and then another one of these kind of um, journaling spots which you could just kind of you know bend the um, wing of the butterfly to just be able to write on that or, or just leave it blank and then um, another one of the butterflies obviously an organza bow and then another fold out flap kind of mini photo album stuck onto that page um, 
and then it's finished off just with some matching lace trim and another one of those lovely satin bows and then it's just got some um, fabric kind of binding that just uses uh, you know stuck on there to use as a latch and then you've got a journaling spot down the bottom a couple more paper flowers this one finished with um, just a kind of metal embellishment there that looks quite pretty and kind of vintage and antique I think and then another um, a bird cage there that I've inked up that I just thought finished it off really nicely and went really nicely on there and then here on the back cover I've just kind of finished it off with um, doing a large pocket on the bottom here so obviously you can slot various things in I've just done a, a tag that can just go in there but obviously you could put in additional photos or kind of tickets or anything like that and then got this little um, like a little flag saying love which I just inked up I think that looks quite pretty there and then this gorgeous um, butterfly here that I've just inked up I can't remember I think that might be a Kanban uh, butterfly which I've just inked to make it look quite aged I thought that went just really nice there and kind of finished it off and then obviously you've got a kind of magnetic clasp to actually close the album up so when you shut it just shuts like that obviously you've got the butterfly there so you can even just tuck the butterfly in somewhere that's it and then it just closes neatly with the clasp like that and the whole thing can be picked up by the handles and uh, displayed like that but I think just makes a really um, lovely kind of gift or you know a really nice way to store maybe wedding pictures or you know something special a really nice special occasion or maybe like a gift for you know a mum or something like that um, like a special birthday something so yeah I really enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoyed watching the video thanks for watching bye